Hi, my name is Grace Goodman. I'm an attorney here at the Nieves Law Firm. Today I want to discuss with you a recent sex case that I actually got dismissed. A client and I actually went all the way to the day before trial on this before the Alameda District Attorney's Office agreed to dismiss this case of all charges. Now, broadly what ended up happening is my client is a practicing nudist and at the place of employment he was working at a few years ago, he got the consent of the other employees involved that he was allowed to be nude during a certain part of the day in a certain area. Everyone was above age and everyone was a consenting adult. No one had an issue with this and no one had an issue with my client's lifestyle choices. Time went on and what ended up happening is two of the employees were terminated through no fault of my client, but they, for whatever reason, believed that he had been behind this. Because of this, they were angry with him and tried to blackmail him to get them their jobs back. And when he, disagree when he was not only disagreed, but when he was unable to do this, they went and reported his crimes to the Alameda District Attorney's Office. Now, what I was able to do with the help of the rest of the team at the Nieves Law Firm is we were able to get my client to show us all of the text messages between him and these two people that were blackmailing him. And then with the help of the other employees at the office, they were able to show us their communications with uh, the two people that were blackmailing him and them showing that none of this ended up adding up. We worked together with the district attorney's office to show that this was our theory of the case. The district attorney had conversations with the complaining witness and after those conversations, they were able to dismiss all charges against my client. This is great because now my client is able to have a clean record with no sex charges on it. Uh, with the charges that he was going to be charged with, if he was found guilty, that would have required sex registration. So now he's not on the registry. And he was able to just avoid a very public trial, which can be just very detrimental for people's mental health. If anything I just said to you rings any bells in your mind or your own situation, or you have a sex crime of your own that you would like to discuss with somebody, give us a call. We're happy to help.